In this final video of the asthma series, we'll learn about some potential emergencies related to asthma. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Graham Dersna. Welcome to Bite Size Medicine, your go-to channel for short, easy to understand videos about the common medical topics that matter to you. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, get involved in the comments, and check out the description below for links and resources. Let's get started. So far, we've covered what causes asthma, its triggers, symptoms, severities, and treatment options. To finish this series, we'll cover the asthma emergencies that can lead to hospitalization. The first emergency is called status asthmaticus. It is the extreme form of an asthma attack that does not respond to standard medication. If treatment in the emergency room does not work, you may need to be hospitalized in the intensive care unit. Although there are many more treatment options at a hospital, if medication alone cannot stop the asthma attack, it may require intubation. This is where you're put to sleep and a tube is inserted into the trachea the tube leading to the lungs, so a machine can help you breathe. One of the warning signs that may signal the need for intubation is if the attack is severe enough that you're unable to continue breathing because your muscles are so fatigued from trying to breathe that they don't have any more energy. The second emergency is called atelectasis, or a collapsed lung. This too may require hospitalization, medication, intubation, or surgery. And if it's not treated, there are more complications that can follow. The final two emergencies occur when air enters spaces in our chest outside of our lungs. Pneumo relates to air, and thorax is the medical term for our chest. So when air is inside our chest, between our lungs and our rib cage, it is called a pneumothorax. The air pushes against our lungs so they can't expand and we can't breathe. The middle portion of our chest is called the mediastinum. When air gets into this section, it is called a pneumomediastinum. This is the least dangerous of the emergencies and can usually be treated by stopping the asthma attack and getting rest and pain medication. That brings us to the end of the asthma series. Check out the links below if you want to dive even deeper. Before you go, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed the video, learned something new, have any questions, have a personal experience in this area that you'd like to share, or have ideas for a future video. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time for another delicious bite of medicine.